Today, we are in the Normandy area of France and we are going to take you to explore the beautiful, the most famous beach of Etretat. Hello guys, this is your host Arpita. Welcome back to Travel Opus. You know, I saw a beach for the first time and I could not understand that how can anything be so beautiful. As you can see, the whole town revolves around the beach. The waterfront is limited by high straight cliffs on each side. This place is extremely famous for its white cliffs, which you can clearly see behind me. There is a white promenade to easily walk from one end to other with beautiful views in every directions. Or you can go down to the beach itself. Just know that it is a beach covered with pebbles as you can see. So if you are not used to it, it might not be so easy to walk on it. Although the pebbles are not as big, so I find it a little easier. Also, I recommend you to visit at low and high tides both because it looks completely different. You know, sometimes there used to be gusts of wind and sometimes it was raining. And on the top of it, it was a very cold day because we went there in the month of December. Before this day, I must say, I have never felt so, so much better. Or I can say it was my love at first sight, the day I met the beach. And if you are lucky enough like me, then you might get a chance to see seal fish or any other ocean beauties. Wow, these views are unbelievable. These views have inspired many artists for sure. So I would just recommend you, whenever in life you get a chance to come here, just bring some snacks with you, have a break, sit here on the beach and admire the wonderful show of nature. You know, if you are lucky enough, then I would say it is even better with some clouds. And now, Let's get serious and go explore those cliffs. So, starting with the South Cliffs, which are known as Felaise the Aval. Now, you can see there are no roads going up there, so no touristic trains to help you. Only one option is left, you have to walk. From the promenade, there is a staircase, you can see here, going up the cliffs before reaching the walking path. The walk to the top is steep but not long, so believe me, make the effort, it is worth it. On the way to the top, you will find two viewing platforms where you can enjoy the town, the beach and the northern cliffs. And now moving further from here, let's see what are the other surprises waiting for us. Once you reach at the top, you can now explore around Legui Cruise. 
these specific cliffs what you can see from here are known as Lake Cruise. These cliffs are 80 meter high and there are views in all the directions. This is the closest you can get to those pinnacle formations which were transformed into a fort. You can take a second bridge to access a small cave known as La Chambre des Demoiselles. You know what people say about this place? Legends of ghosts surround it. And to know more about this place, that why this place is called the Legends of Ghosts, so I'm going to drop all the links in the description so you can have your horror stories from there. Now, to enjoy the most amazing views of the Legui Cruiser, I would suggest you to keep walking to the south. And now, let me tell you one interesting part about this place that why it is being called the Legui Cruiser. Because if you see this particular cliff, it seems to be like the hollow needle. And the French word for the hollow needle is Legui Cruiser. This hollow needle, it is of 55 meters in height at the moment. But erosion keeps happening. And now from here, from the top of Pote de Avale, you can also enjoy a beautiful view of this other giant arc of Etretat, which is called as Manipoto. I recommend you to keep walking a little more further in the south direction. All the way to the main porter. This is, this is the best, best place to appreciate the sea stack and the main arc of Etritat. From here, you can have the splendid view of the beach with these beautiful grey pebbles, the town to the left and the south cliffs to the right. Now, after enjoying in the southern direction, let me take you all to the northern end of the beach, which is called the Elephant. Take your time to admire the cliffs here. I can just sit here for hours looking at the view. There's this very famous author, Guy de Maupassant, refers this place as a giant elephant with its trunk plunging into the water. It is massive and you see the layers really well. And as you walk back to the town, the views again are magnificent. Enjoy all the different walks and perspective. First, check out the tight times and organize your stay around them. So if you are lucky enough to spend longer in Etritat, there are also other attractions in this region which are worth visiting. I am going to give the link in the description so according to your interest you can choose from there. And the dreamy day has come to an end. And please don't forget to hit the like button because that would motivate me to create some more good contents for you guys.